guys the untold truth about Ken Bob and here first before we get this video started this is a hundred subscriber special video I guess you can say but I want to say thank you for a hundred subscribers well 101 I probably said thank you first and then I said said oh, thank you for 100 subscribers and then said this is the 100 subscriber video but whatever let's get let's get to it I might, I might have done this video even if I didn't have 100 subscribers but I thought I just called it a hundred subscriber special. Oh my gosh, dude! Oh no! Here's some more illegal drone footage by Ken Domic, because he just doesn't care. He took it from using the company's trademark logos due to probably getting in trouble. I wonder how long it'll be before his, he gets in trouble for flying his drone. We'll have to wait and see, or for not wearing his seatbelt in the drive-thru. Yes, everybody, you guessed it on my social media. Today's stealth camping video takes us to the amazing A and W. And when, when did you stop making that? Uh, uh, doing fake copyright strikes and channels or stop doing illegal stuff like not wearing your seatbelt? Because when, is it, even though you went through drive through when your car's idling or running, you should be wearing a seatbelt unless you're, unless you're not moving. But if you're driving anywhere, it doesn't matter where or on the block, I should always wear a seatbelt. Barry, Ontario, Canada. We are going to start off our spicy but be awakened at A and W. All right, we have made it to one of my favorite A and W locations in Barry, Ontario, Canada. Probably one of your favorites. You just like going to Barry, Ontario to. Piss off KDRC, don't you? And we're starting off our day quarter to 11 to do our stealth camping. And we're going to be eating at A&W for 24 hours. As you probably already guessed, I don't know what I want to do for lunch. I think I'm going to do one of my favorite things of all time. Hi, thank you. Hi, uh, can I do the uh, team burger combo with bacon? Team burger combo with bacon. Of course, with bacon. You're just gonna say, oh, it's a shoot day. And when you do fasting later, you go and you eat all this stuff. It, it, it's, it's no thing of dieting. It's not helping. Yeah, it's coming to bacon. Sorry. Oh, okay. Just making sure. Yeah, with price? Uh, uh, yes, please. And uh, the, uh, root beer. Sure. That's it, thanks. Sure. Thank you. All right, $12.41. You can complain about that. Is our first meal for 24 hours. Hello, thank you. Uh, no thanks. If you don't mind being forward, just making fresh fries for you. Okay, perfect. Got it, thanks. Hello, thank you. Uh, no thanks. If you don't mind being forward, just making fresh fries for you. Okay, perfect. Got it, thanks. You should be wearing your mask, Ken. And you're going to the drive through goes to show you still don't give a care about the pandemic. Why do you at least wear a mask when you go inside? It's not because you want to. You said you just signed the side that you want to. It's because it's mandatory and you got in trouble for not doing it. Sure. All right. Fresh fries coming out. We've got some shady spots too, ladies and gentlemen. Not meaning like bad spots, but shady spots you know, with trees and all. Great, thank you. You too. All right, people, let's park it. All right, guys, we are parked. Let's go to the trusty steering wheel and start selling, trying to sell this piece of shit. Trey, I wanted to do it. Checking it all up here. Burger, which is one of my. <laughs> Clean the hands. Oh. Oh, you're not going to go back to doing the sexy rub thing again, are you? Is that your way of doing it because you're not getting in anything from Carol? I'm guessing Ken doesn't get anything because he's saying the sexy rubber new hand sanitizer. That's how you know when someone's not getting it, if you know what I mean. <laughs> All right, guys, going in for an extreme close up of our A&W team burger combo with bacon. Of course it has bacon on it. I was just making... To stop your heart from beating? You're just making sure to stop your heart from beating? Huh? Hmm. Making sure there's a beautiful A&W 
logo and an image of the root beer. <laughs> it's not an image of the root beer, it's an image of the bubbles and the carbonation of the root beer. Idiot. On the side, can't wait to get into that. We've got our golden french fries that are going to be screaming hot. Scre screaming hot? You mean s super hot? What are these new words you're trying to come up with? We call you up for doing, for stealing other people's stuff, and then now you're trying to make up your own stuff, and it's just weird. Like, why? Peel on and look at this burger. Look at this bun. No, let's get got, this shit. Like I said, I'm the slot cheese. Can't miss playing with his food. Think away as a garbage fry, but we rescued it. Coffee. Oops, sorry. We'll see what they have on tap for snacks. And we'll... See they have tap Look at all snacks. that beautiful goodness in there. Big. Why don't you just, uh... Eat a salad or eat at home for 24 hours and still camp at home. Anyway. You see that guy's Ken doesn't use that logo anymore. Such a messy meals is like drip. I don't know why it's doing, why it's doing this. Nobody doesn't do this. perfect together, together aren't they? Once again, I'm just going to sit back, relax, enjoy this wonderful nectar of the god. Piggy, all done. <laughs> I'm just going to do that. That's Katie, Katie the East thing. But baby, all done. Baby, all done. Baby, all done. Baby, all done. Odds, and then uh, we'll go in there eventually and grab a coffee and maybe at some type of a. Well, they have like snacks, except. There you go. No, wait. I don't know. Wait, wait, wait. Let's see what Princess Kendall got now. And I couldn't, again, the whole mask thing sometimes muffles people's voices. And I, I but he meant sleeve. Uh, so I might. Yeah, it might be really hot to hold. But let's just open this up. I'm really hoping. That A and W coffee is a wonderful thing. We got this double chocolate turnover. It's warm. He had it done really quickly, so I'm not sure how they got it done so fast. All right, going in for the extreme close-up of this brand new A and W coffee and double chocolate turnover. I'd like to see, see you drop your phone or you drop your camera, and then when they break your camera. Or look at the sky in that coffee. This beautiful coffee. Mmm, it's strong coffee. Good coffee, but it's strong. This beautiful piece yeah, brand nice turnover. Yeah, it might be really hot to hold, but let's just open this up. I'm really hoping that A and W coffee no, is a wonderful uh, brand I new to this coffee. Ouch! I should go to sleep. Ow, dude. I guess we could probably bite it without burning ourselves. With ec this is the first time I've ever attempted to eat a sweet thing here at uh, A and W. I think those things are brand new at A and W, so it's a, they haven't been around that long again. Woo! It's still pretty hot. So that always is a touch new iPhone case here. Wondering. Wow, that's good. Let me know if you've tried it's the uh, double case. chocolate turnover. If you find yourself needing a coffee and there's an A&W around the corner, give it a shot. So I use my phone to screen record, as you see. I should have taken that sleeve. Wow, A&W. Oh, boy. If you find yourself needing a coffee and there's an A&W around the corner, again. give it a shot. I should have taken that sleeve. Wow. I think you can oh, the baby can burn, baby can the princess candle, candle burn his hand. Oh no. Oh, and done a good job on the chocolate. You know, I might find the pic oh, no. pizza. I didn't for you go guys. on my shirt. For, for the hundreds. Reverted subscriber. the problem. Special. Once again, I'm just going to sit back, relax, enjoy this coffee, and, and then I'm going to clean this mess up. So, uh, get out our inverter and uh, put. 
is in a special spot right here. No one cares about this crap. And of course, an ad. Hold on. Alright, we're back. Princess Kendall likes to put lots of ads in these videos because he knows well, I'm doing this this way. I can tell you guys how long it takes. Here, so go get our snack. I mean, tooth and nail. Get my snack. That was like an hour and a half ago. Now, here comes the part where Blumgum calls him. Now, Blumgum is, has the channel hasn't uploaded videos in over three years. He still can make him be Ken's friend. But, how would he want to be Ken's friend when I was Ken? He won't want to be your friend anymore when I when I send him on t what you tweeted on Twitter. And I will. I'm going to. Too bad. So sad, bro. You said, no, no, no. That's, that's too bad, man. You make fake copyright, false copyright claims, and you break the law too much times, and you can't get away with doing it. It's too, it is not funny anymore. That's too bad. I don't give a crap. You can't just say that and make he doesn't know about that. If he's fine with it, then by all means, you guys can still be friends. But I'm pretty sure he's not gonna be fine with it. Oh, and, and then I got a phone it. call from Blumgum. Blumgum, what? say hi. What's up? Of course, you gotta show his channel page. You got the iPhone t uh, XS, no, sorry, 11 Pro Max, I believe. What's up, guys? <laughs> Talking to my man. It's that kind of smile, Ken. Jeez. And Ken, I'm so excited to see his new video here. Thanks for calling, buddy. Uh, so, uh, Blumgum is working on some new awesome uh, content for his channel. And hey, Blumgum, buddy, if you ever see. Come on this channel, buddy. We would love to have you here. You got some pretty cool content. Definitely better than any Ken's content, I would say. And uh, so we just had, we're catching up on old times. Let them know what's- Catching up on old times. You did, you did one feed, even if like, f maybe five videos of him on your channel. Catch up on old times when you, when you get drunk or something. Just, of course, you gotta talk about times when you get drunk or drink your beer. You love your beer. It's gonna happen, hopefully, in the quick near future. Yeah, so uh, we're working on some new comp. Uh, we entertain. But it's dinner yeah, time. Let's that, get some food. I would like to do their fish and chips, uh -huh, but I want to do that tomorrow. Want, they also have this chicken habanero sandwich that I would like to try just for you. Just in case he doesn't feel comfortable with being on the reaction channel. And just for you. Are you guys ready? Let's get I'm it. I'm sharing his news here. But whatever. I'm gonna try that uh, spicy habanero chicken burger. Ken's gonna say he never had it, but he did have it. I'll prove it to you. And he... And the whole you... He had this... What was it? I know he had it. Yep, right here. See again? You never had it. You had it four years ago, man. It's been around since then. So I'm gonna say it's new. Try your new. And Let's just for you. Are you guys ready? Let's get it. I'm gonna try that uh, spicy habanero chick. Well, I didn't say new, but he sound good. That he never tried it before. And all that drinking really is affecting your brain, man. Sounds good. All right. Whoa, thank you. Could I get uh, one vinegar and one salt, please? Thank you. You too. Do you uh, guys do the uh, root beer float? Yeah, we do root beer float. Okay, so if I did a walk in, you guys could make me. I'm actually just not gonna do a premiere for this one. I'm just gonna up upload it because it's too late to premiere for people that live in the UK. So I'm just gonna upload it. It's take a long time though. Yeah. Your float. All right, thank you. All right, people, let's park it. All right, guys, we're all parked. Let's go in for a close up. I couldn't order a drink without saying root beer at a and I grabbed a. And you say you never put sugar in your body. 
I actually think NW is, is sugar free. Crap, if I'm wrong. Water so to help flush all this down sugar, afterwards. And we've got these onion insane. rings. They they look beautiful. I love A and W. Oh well, big hey, up. Give it a shot. It'll be your new favorite thing. My wife and I used to go to the drive-in movies, and uh, we would get souvlaki, onion rings, and a whole bunch of other stuff, milkshakes. And then we'd get there and we'd lay it all out. And of course, we both agree that salt and vinegar on your onion rings is burnt. Onion inside there. Mm. Very thick cut onions. Very thick onions. I'm surprised it's very thick. I was surprised it didn't add a ooly leather. And delicious. All done, my rings. Baby, all done. Baby, all done. Baby, all done. Princess Piggy. <laughs> Let's move on to this habanero burger. I for, I for some reason, I thought it was more like a creamy sauce than a non-creamy sauce. Does that look like a creamy sauce to you? It doesn't look like... Passive aggressive for no reason. British can go, yeah, creamy sauce. Yeah, it looks like a creamy sauce to you. A creamy sauce to me. I don't know, I just had this vision of a... Uh, ooh, slip and slide. Slip and slide habanero burger. New. And at the moment where I did this, I'm surprised didn't add a ooula to add your sexual, sex, uh, sex, sexual in the windows. Surprised me there, but still, this is weird. Cannot make food. No one yet YouTubers play with their food. Well, Joey's World Tour does that sometimes, but he's got better content and he does it more funny, more funny than you do. He makes those kind of jokes, but Sometimes those are more funnier, but he doesn't do the things you do. Joey's pretty awesome. At A and W. Let's see. Mmm. Whoa. The hot sauce being on the bottom has definitely impacted my tongue. The light. My tart. We'll be talking to Joey on Instagram. We might, when he has time, he might make me a video and saying, I told true congratulations on 100. But I told him maybe it'd be better when we get to 1,000. Just 100, just, just when you're starting to become a channel on YouTube. 1,000 is when you're starting to get, we can get the, the money. That's first becoming a, well, a real channel. You're just kidding, but thank you for 101 subscribers, you guys, by the way. This and tomato are perfect touch for this. The chicken patty is good. Joey doesn't know about this channel yet. I haven't told him about it. Some of you do find right channel. The uh, breading on the chicken is nice and crunchy. It's not soggy. The spice level out of, out of 10, two, Maybe three. It's not affecting me a whole lot. Nothing back to stick on the it's Arctic roast. I try to skip for a little bit because I still got to do that bonus video, guys. Born free, as free as the wind blows. Born free to follow your heart. Axe, get clean, smell ready. Yo, it's your boy Z Snipes, right? I'm the Kid Mero, and we are the yeah, Bodega Boys. Uh, we are old, and we know hip hop, bro. So that way. Check this out. Rap Caviar made a site where you can check I how can, long you've been listening to your favorite rapper. Right. And now you can go to the site and prove it. But I'm smart, I'm going to try this. I'm just going to say it again. Don't think I'm smart. For snacks, I think we should do uh, a root beer float. And a poutine? Let me guess. You always feel like night. Do you know how bad it is to eat food at night? I know it's hard. Sometimes it's hard to get hard sometimes you get hungry at night. But eat fruit. I I do. I and every once in a while I do try to. Every once in a while I do. I mean I try to. I don't have to have a little treat. But 
most of them hungry at night, I'll get an apple or an orange and eat healthy because eating crappy junk, junk food is really bad for you, especially at night before you go to bed. But I asked them if they make root beer floats and they do. I think it's really mostly bad for your heart because you're going to bed and you're sleeping and it's you know, digest and it clogs arteries. You stop breathing because you don't breathe as heavily at night as when you do when you're awake. Most people have had it do that one time and for people that die in their sleep or they have a heart they wake up and having heart attacks. Is that what you want, Ken? I'll make so be careful. And a poutine. Let's go crazy. All right, uh, I'm gonna try your root beer float. See that it's really tense. Thank you, root beer float. What was that? And a uh, poutine, please. Nine dollars and seven. Oh, per I thought. Then she had, like. Oh. Uh, root beer is good. Root beer float. Next level. I got my new. Cold forged. Oh gosh. I start claiming this now. I put a link below. People are gonna buy these and you see you can take them on a plane. I'm pretty sure that you wouldn't get on a plane if you did that. Ken's trying, Ken trying to get his subscribers in jail. Dining set. I can't wait till when you try to bring it on the plane and you get arrested. Oh, this is gonna be good. To uh, help the world in, in its pollution thing, so you just pull this out the side. Again, it's the same, but if you, you can see Sam. So I mean, go it's over there by the lights. I don't want to be there. Uh, baby can go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep, baby. Ken, Princess Ken, though. <laughs> so I don't mind a little bit of light coming in, but I'm not sure if you noticed. Stuff right in. Then we'll breeze out tonight, so uh, hopefully it doesn't go much lower than that. Uh, but uh, I'll have my hoodie. I'm back up. I got my long sleeve shirt on at the moment. Don't need my hat at the moment. Five minutes ago, I had okay. here. <clears throat> As you can see, the groundskeeper. Okay, what is that guy? What is that? Who is that? That's a construction worker. Oh, I don't think you have a good past with construction workers. That and calling them douchebags. He's not now you're filming them. Hmm. We all know that you don't have a good past of a past of construction workers. Just went by, and like I said, he's frantically keep. That's probably his truck, the big white truck. Kind of looks like a maintenance truck. So, I guess that's one of his gigs is to anybody else would. And it's seven o'clock. I've seen people go through the drive-through already. So, uh, let's he's it's deflating. Get some breakfast. I am of course going through the drive-through. Bad again. feeling. Things. Good morning, how you doing? Uh-huh. But you never show any uh footage to prove to it. So we know you're full of shit. Alright. Uh I okay, I'll do the three pancakes. Is that good? Okay. Thanks, man. We're gonna wait! Alright guys, we'll just leave it at that. The rest of it says just eating breakfast and ending it early. You only, we all know that Ken fails. Okay, let's do his pickled pizza now. It's basically a pickle pie. Let's try it. Uh -huh. Wow, here we go. Hey guys, how you doing today? Today I'm in the... Thanks for at least not adding the music. The rainy city. Make it a lot easier for, for the video not to get copyright claim. Thank you, Ken. Of Asshole. Barrie, Ontario, Canada, at Topper's Pizza once again. Now, how can we even put Topper's Pizza in the title or in the logo? I'm starting to think maybe it was Topper's Pizza that you got in trouble from. To try something I never. 
has the property to most likely suck here in the RCS video. So, I'm surprised they allow you there. I never thought I would try something I never thought somebody would create. And we had the best pizza here in Manitoba. What else also have in Saskatoon? It's called Santa Lucia Pizza. And, uh, it's good. It's like really good, you know? But if you're in Winnipeg or Manitoba or in Saskatoon, I don't recommend you try that pizza. Uh, is the pickle pizza. I remember somebody telling me. Oh, we, didn't, we know in past about pickles. You don't like pickles. This should be a very interesting one. From the States, that a place in Rochester. It's where really I ended that our video early. It's just. It's just kidding because it's just. You don't want to see it. Uh, created this pizza. I'm not sure if they're the first people to create it, but I think everybody else has jumped on board and uh, Topper's Pizza. I saw an advert on my computer that says Topper's Pizza now has this pickle pizza. I'm gonna go in there, grab it, come to create it. But I think everybody else has jumped on board and uh, Topper's Pizza. I saw an advert on my computer that says Topper's Pizza. says pickle pizza. P pizzas. Pickle pizzas are back. So they had them before. It's not new. Can't know. Topper's Pizza now has the. I just didn't have it's like a, this is a spice. Ah, oh, come on, but can you make me they can do pickles? Yes. Oh, 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 why can't you put that on a pizza? So that's for something else. Uh, this is garlic. Well, that's the garlic and herbs. Oh, okay, perfect. Yeah. Do you like? It? Oh, all right, ladies and gentlemen. Do you like it? Yeah. All right. Good. Thanks. Wow. Uh, but this, I think the. It's, of course, I went for a Coke. More sugar. And like you see, I don't edit my videos that much, so I'm not really good at putting flashback, but flashback. I'll do it. Flashback. I don't really like to, you know, the fasting. I don't really like to put sugar in my body. And the flashback. Show the logo, people. Amazing, but a def. You can pull it out. Ooh la la. Uh, so I used to pull my pickles all the. You, you used to pull your pickles. Okay, kid. We don't need to know about you touching yourself. That's referring to you masturbating or something. Masturbating. There we go. Don't need to know that. Only the person that should know that is Carol. It, it, you can you stop using those kind of jokes in your videos? Like, it's just weird, and especially when you're doing a food. I mean, if you're doing something else and making those jokes just in a video, whatever, it'd still be bad, but when you're eating food, if you're anything else, that's the time. Not the time you should be making ooh la la jokes. The time. Ooh la la. And, uh,. Then I said, over time, it is possible because you guys kept asking me to at least try and pull all the pickles off. I think we're just lying, you're just lying because we know what you saw a face by, by the face you make. You just say that you like your pickles because you just make your subscribers be quiet. Because you most likely get annoyed with them keep on asking you the same thing. And you're trying not to, you probably, before you started doing live streams, you didn't want to go. What, but not before you started your life, before you started getting rude, and you just didn't, didn't want to go passive aggressive. But if I were to say that, you'd say, No, I like it. And you, my burner, if I created a burner account, would you block now? I was telling you the truth about stuff. Because I shouldn't say, you know, you, Don't you ever reveal my name? Because someone revealed it in the chat when it was, when it was recent uh, live streams. Four, the three hour one but whatever I had a few troll comments I got one person to come over here and uh anyways so yeah you probably just to, to hate your fans you wanted to give them a shout out because you get annoyed and you're just gonna pretend to like pickles now so that way people, more people will support you and be happy and subscribe to your channel that's all it is I think off left one pickle on 
and I said, I'm not gonna like the pickles. Put them on the garbage in my little garbage bag. Took a bite of the chicken with the pickle on it and the expression. In a garbage bag, you didn't because you don't throw your receipt. It's, I mean, you don't throw the, we throw the wrappers, but you need to write it off so you don't make money after vacation. You paid, you paid five, uh, 250 for a $500 hotel. You need to write it off. Why don't you just pay the full price? People that people that not normally do that are their own boss. And they pay for that stuff so that, that way they can do it right off their bills. So they can pay them back your money themselves. Because when you're, when you're your own boss and you run your own company, you don't get paid from the from your company. You have to pay yourself. That's the, that's the real reason why people do that. Not just YouTubers that do that. You know, only when they does it. Why don't you actually make entertaining content to earn the extra money? And then you'll have good money to spend. And don't always beg for money on live streams. That's like if you need, if you're, unless you're doing like a fundraiser, then it's okay to me to say, can I please donate if you can? But don't go on people that can't donate. Not everyone has money like you do, Ken. We know all know that you're not poor. Because one, for first things first, you're sitting in a. Well, this is not. Let's go back. This is a flashback. You're sitting in a forty thousand dollar car, folks. Like in Tico one. <clears throat> That's not a, a car poor people will be driving. This is more likely a Suzuki, middle class, but still, it's a pretty nice car. But this is a very, very nice luxury USV. So I don't think you're poor again. Goals on pizza. It's it's not like it's a you know your regular pepperoni pizza and then they've added pickles because that might be gross. But the fact is we've got bread, we've got a garlic sauce underneath, we've got the pickles sauce on top. It's basically just eat the damn thing already. Yeah, that sure looks like a face that you like it. Mm-hmm. Yep. See, that proves my point when I said earlier. Crunchy. Oh, for goodness sakes. Simply this again. Crunchy, savory, toasty, cheesy, pickly. Hmm. The, the crust is amazing, like typical Topper's pizza. I almost didn't make this video tonight because I was getting tired, but I thought, you know what, I hit 100 subscribers, and I gotta put my first put a special video for my fans. Hmm. Maybe I'll try please. It is premiere. good. I don't know. There's like nothing wrong with it. Probably not because it's too late to do that. It's just so different than anything else I've ever eaten in my life, pizza wise. I that was pretty much tomorrow. It's after tomorrow, but I got things to do tomorrow. That crispy crunch of the pickle. I gotta work on my papa. It's so weird. It's my papa. When your brain's holding a pizza slice, you yeah, bite into it, tomorrow. and you get a crispy pickle crunch. Not work, but actual work, like work where you pee. The most bizarre work. thing I've, I think I've ever eaten. But again, now that we're past the pickles, <laughs> it's like a normal garlic pizza. Mm -hmm. And all the seasonings on... for Ken playing with his food. Let's get the actual. And let me know in the comments below if you guys have tried pickle pizza and was it similar to this? I know probably in other places that have done the pickle pizza. It might be made differently than these guys. The only reason why it may be made, made, made differently is they add a different kind of cheese or, or maybe thin crust. Or, but otherwise, it's probably the same everywhere, idiot. Unless they add other toppings, like you said, you wouldn't add one if I heard it add pepperoni pizza. Then it wouldn't be a pickle pizza. 
have always trying to cheat the system to cheat or to fail your videos, hey? Eh? Well, let me know your experience. Again, it's not bad. I definitely could eat this whole thing. It's not like I been into it and it was the most disgusting thing I ever had. Your face looked like you, it was the disgusting thing you ever had. So, I think you don't like it. You say later in the video that you would never buy it again, but then you say it's good. Um, Look at your title, um, Pickle Pizza. What? I'm thinking the- You're grimacing in the thumbnail. Into the the equipment of a jar like and munch on it like I'm gonna come to that again. We all know you don't like it. That's right, so good. Well, there you go. Video. I didn't mind it. It wasn't gross. It was definitely no. Okay, you didn't like it. But this is the end of this video. There you guys go. The 100 subscriber special. Thank you so much. And I want to say a big thank, thank you to KDRC for helping make this channel the way it is. Also, a big shout out to KDD. For you guys, this channel wouldn't be where it is today. Thank you so much to, to you, to, to the two of you guys, to two of you guys. Sorry, I'm tired. Can't talk that much. But I just want to s say thank you to all my 100 subscribers. And this, this has been another untold truth about Ken on my video. We know that Ken likes to fail his challenges. And he likes to pretend that he likes stuff because he wants to get more fans to subscribe to his channel because people have been asking him stuff all the time. And then but if they were to ask you this and say what I said today in this video in your ne next live stream, you would say, well, he's just a troll. I do like pickles. And you're going to get all passive aggressive as usual. Anyways, see you guys in the next video. Peace.